are very confident about this inactivated whole viral vaccine. Currently, we are constructing the new facilities uh, in Changping province of Beijing. And our target production capacity is uh, 100 million dose per year. is a large-scale study. If there is already no disease happened in the population, that means the, you, you cannot success on phase three. The first volunteers now getting their dose of a vaccine that could protect the world from COVID-19. It seems like the right thing to do to uh, ensure that we can uh, you know, combat this disease and get over it a lot faster. The team at Oxford's Jenner Institute are fast-tracking their trials because they've already tested a similar vaccine for another coronavirus, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. They believe it's safe. The big question is, does it work against this new virus too? This morning, an encouraging sign from researchers in the U.S. Scientists at the National Institutes of Health's Rocky Mountain Lab in Montana gave the vaccine to six rhesus monkeys, then exposed them to large amounts of COVID-19. 28 days later, none of the monkeys had the virus. The lead researcher telling The New York Times, the rhesus macaque is pretty much the closest thing we have to humans, but that scientists are still analyzing the results. The Oxford team thinks they'll know whether it works in humans by July. And that gives us confidence that firstly, this is going to be safe when we use it for this viral infection. We have a good idea of what type of immunity it produces. The team is already working with manufacturers around the world, including Millipore Sigma in Massachusetts, an arm of German pharmaceutical giant Merck, to speed up mass production if the vaccine works. A million doses are already being produced at risk. That means if the vaccine doesn't work, the doses will be useless. But if it does, they'll have a big head start delivering a desperately needed vaccine as early as September and taking on the next challenge. We are aiming to make not millions, probably not tens of millions, but ideally hundreds of millions of doses of this vaccine because we really believe that is what will be required even in the second half of this year to help put out this pandemic. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly reappeared in public for the first time in nearly three weeks. The news comes as speculation continues surrounding his health and his successor in the regime. Lee kyung has the details. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has resurfaced in public for the first time in 20 days amid rumors surrounding his health. 
The North State won Korean Central TV broadcast on Saturday that the 36 year old leader attended a completion ceremony at a newly constructed fertilizer factory in Suncheon on Friday. Earlier in the morning, the state run news agency released some 20 photos of Kim smiling, clapping his hand, and cutting a ribbon at the event. This is Kim's first public appearance since April 11th when he held a meeting with party officials in Pyongyang. He was not seen in public on April 15th, which is the country's biggest holiday, the birthday of his grandfather and the founder of North Korea, Kim Il-sung. That's when rumors about his health began to swirl, with unverified news reports saying that Kim was brain dead or in grave danger after heart surgery, or that he may be in quarantine after contracting COVID-19. Along with ending the health rumors, the report has also drawn much attention to Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong. The senior official from the ruling Workers' Party was standing right next to the Supreme Leader at the event, ahead of many higher-ranked officials. This suggests that she may be exercising more power than anyone else in the party, given that official seats are assigned based on political hierarchy. During Kim Jong-un's 20-day disappearance, there was much speculation that Kim Yo-jong may be the successor to her brother. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.